fellow creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am super excited about this DIY because this is a DIY that I have been working up to to bring to you. And I am gonna be showing you what I do with Dollar Tree's LED string lights. This DIY is so stinking beautiful, I can hardly stand it. And I think it's something you're really gonna like. Is it a quick and easy DIY? I can't say that it is, but is it budget friendly? Yes, it is. And the best part is you are creating something so beautiful, I can't wait to show it to you. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for Dollar Tree's LED string lights. I picked up these LED lights from the Dollar Tree. They're battery operated, it takes two AA batteries. There's 10 LED lights on each strand. Now taking some of Dollar Tree's green floral tape, I'm gonna wrap the wiring of my lights with this tape because I was unable to find LED lights that had the green wiring. I find that the green wire is a bit harder to find any other time of year other than Christmas time. And so because I have the clear wiring, I'm gonna wrap it with the floral tape and quite honestly, I like the look of the floral tape anyway because it gives the look of a stem and that's kind of what I'm going for with this DIY is a green vine. Once you've got your wire completely covered with the floral tape, it really is as simple as putting it together. Now I'm going to take the felt flowers that I made. If you haven't seen those DIYs, I'll link them in the description box below. Those were the DIYs that were working up to this one. So I made each of the flowers in preparation for this DIY. On the back of each of the flowers, there is a slit, a hole in the flowers that I made. That was made so I can insert these lights into the flower. I'm gonna put just a dab of hot glue just to hold it in place. You wanna make sure that your hot glue gun is on a low temperature because you don't wanna melt the plastic of the light. And so for this, just to hold the flowers onto the lights, I'm hot gluing it just a bit on low temperature. I made 10 total felt flowers. These felt flowers are so easy, so budget friendly to make, and the outcome is whatever really you want it to be. It could be glam, it could be cute, it could be rustic, it could be country like these here. I really was going for that crafted country rusted look. That's why I chose the colors that I'm using with these flowers. I like to think of a DIY like this as a good accent piece, a piece that you can put on a mantle, on a shelf. This would make for an amazing gift to give. I think that it's easy, it's budget friendly, it's got that handcrafted quilted look. It is just something so different and I think that it's a piece that will leave people talking about it. And this here really is what I had in mind for these felt flowers when I was bringing you the tutorials on how to make a quick, easy felt flower budget friendly. I think that this is amazing. It is really cool looking. And I think at Christmas time, when you can get a larger, longer strand of lights, it would look amazing with the Christmas colors. And definitely at Christmas time, when they do have the longer strands of lights, I'm gonna be picking up a couple because I am making more of these flowers because I want a longer garland of this on my mantle. When making these flowers, it really is about getting creative and making these flowers to suit your decor, making them your own. You can very easily use a glittery, felt and make these a glam flower. You can make these bright and vibrant for a kid's room. You name it, there are endless possibilities and I think that this is just a fun accent DIY to make on a budget. Tell me this is not so stinking beautiful. This is so crafted and quilted. I just love the feel of it. It does have that country feel to it. And because we use the felt, it definitely, like I said, has that crafted feel. I 
I love this and I think that this would make an amazing gift to give. This is one of those pieces that you can put in just about any room. You can make it to suit your decor style and that's what I did using the colors that I used in today's DIY. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 6,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.